Dr. Jaffe, what is the best source of cholecalciferol? And um, what is lanolin? Um, and what do you think about fish-based vitamin D? So some practitioners claim to be achieving good results using um, a fish-based vitamin D to improve vitamin D levels. And uh, why might that be the case? Well, yes, there are two sources for cholecalciferol for vitamin D. One is lanolin derived, and the other is fish derived. However, 100% of the pharmaceutical cholecalciferol is produced in the United States from lanolin. And while there are some people who philosophically do not want to have to do with anything that has to do with an animal, lanolin is an oil that uh, helps protect the hair of sheep. So when a sheep is rendered, you end up with a sheep skin. That sheep skin has value because as long as the lanolin stays in the sheep skin, you can use that as a rug or you know use that as something that children like to crawl around on. It actually feels very good on the skin. So lanolin is an oil that is excreted by the skin of a sheep and it is extracted from the hair of the sheep with a solvent called ethanol, alcohol, that gets all of the oil and none of the antigen. And this is done and has been done for many years. There's really only one primary source and we happen to get it from the original um, source. The fish derived vitamin D contains many other substances that to me are problematic. The fish oil derived vitamin D is not distilled under nitrogen, is not purified in the way PERC EPA DHA guard is done, and therefore does not meet the PERC standard because we don't want toxins and contaminants and we do want the active form, the most active form that's available. So yes, percolicalciferol is lanolin derived. Lanolin provides the molecular precursor that is easily converted into cholecalciferol, and we recommend that. Um, I will ask that the production of fish-based vitamin D switch to a nitrogen purged environment, and that some assay be done to confirm that the contaminants known to be in the fish oil to start with don't get carried along in the isolation of the cholecalciferol. So both for reasons of purity and for reasons of efficacy, we recommend the lanolin-derived cholecalciferol. And that's what you find in any of the PERC products that have vitamin D. And just as a footnote, a reminder, many people have digestive issues. They have some atrophy of their digestive tract. And Mike Hollick told me that he thinks that about 40 million Americans don't really absorb vitamin D from their intestines. It's a different issue. But if it doesn't get in the body, it can't benefit the body. We recommend drops under the tongue that you dissolve before swallowing because the mucosa of the mouth takes up whatever you put there. For example, when you start chewing food, a small, tiny amount of what you're eating goes across that mucosal barrier and it informs the brain, the central nervous system, which informs the gut nervous system, which then informs the pancreas and the stomach and the liver um, about what you're eating. Is there a lot of fat? Is there a lot of protein? Uh, is there a lot of chewing? Is there a lot of fiber? 
the mouth is a window on the body. Most dentists will tell you that the mouth is a window on the body. And we want the body to have all of the essentials that it needs, especially the bioavailable, better form of cholecalciferol, indeed derived from lanolin, from sheep oil, from sheep uh, hair oil. Um, and yes, the commercial vitamins D, whether they're fish oil based or lanolin derived, um, would not meet PERC standards. But what we use, the pharmaceutical grade material, is the gold standard. And everyone agrees that it's the gold standard against which other cholecalciferols are compared and measured. And because the lanolin oil is not contaminated, and because it's easily extracted into ethanol, alcohol, which is then evaporated uh, in, in, the, um, in the process of converting the lanolin into the cholecalciferol. Um, so yes, we do use the lanolin-derived cholecalciferol. We recommend it, both because we think it is uh, more effective, but also safer. And frankly, we do not, at least at this time, recommend the fish-derived vitamin D because uh, it's not distilled under nitrogen, it's not purified, it doesn't meet our standards of quality. 